Alright guys, um, this is my second video post. Uh, sorry I haven't had one in a while. Uh, I've been a little sick. <laughs> it's been cold outside, so <laughs> I didn't really want to come out here. Um, okay, last time I didn't go over something. This is the nut, uh, this little white piece right here. What it does is it converts the strings from the headstock to the neck and it keeps them in tune. I forgot to go over that last time. Alright. This video, we're going to go over uh, some more stuff like some chords, a couple scales, uh, a little bit more with picking, and I'll go over strumming. So, first we'll start with uh, alternate picking. you got to have your pinky anchored, like I said last video, over that. Have, hold your pick right, and uh, when you go down, when you down pick, you just go down, down, down. Now this one, you go down, up. Uh, you can kind of see that. You just do that, and that's alternate picking. It's uh, pretty simple. It's faster than down picking. You use it a lot of stuff like instead of. It's just easier. It's faster. Use it a lot. Um. Okay. Now we'll go into some scales. We'll uh, start. We'll do a C major scale, the most common scale. All right. This is how it sounds. Just I'm gonna run through it real quick. Just going up and down the scale. Um, what it is is uh, you start on the A string on the third fret. So it's three, then fifth fret, then the D string, and you go to the second fret. Third fret, fifth fret, then the G string, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. Now I'm just alternate picking that. It's going up and down. Um, oh yeah, I didn't cover this. All right. Tuning. Uh, this is an E, A, D, G, B, and E. I'll just run through that one more time so you can tune to me. I'm not exactly in tune, but let's go by here. You just move the tuning keys to tune at higher and lower pitch. What you want to do? You want to tune up, so you want to go lower than you're supposed to, and then tune up to the note, so it stretches it into place. It's an E, then an A, then a D, then a G, then a B, and an E again. That's not really in tune, but it's somewhat in tune. I've been playing with a capo. I can't really tune by ear all that well. I need to use a tuner. I don't <laughs> have one on me. So, um, there you are. You never want to tune it too much or you'll pop a string. And I've done that with an acoustic even, and it sucks. <laughs> Twang. All right. So, went over the scales, went over tuning, alternate picking. Now we'll go to chords. This is a little bit more difficult. You're going to have to practice on this. Um, we'll start with a G chord. It's my favorite chord. What you want to do is on the E string, you get your middle finger and you put it on the third fret. Then on the A string, you get your index finger and you put it on the second fret. And then these two are open. That means that you just play them without pressing any frets down. And then your ring finger. You get the B string on the 3rd fret, then your pinky finger, you get the E string on the 3rd fret as well. So, try not to hit any other strings with your fingers except for the ones that they're pressing down. This is what it looks like. You can see that. Alright, now we'll do a C chord. This is good too. They work well together, G and C. Um, the you want to mute the top string with your thumb. Just kind of put it over like that. It's not really doing anything. 
and um, on the A string, the third fret, you get your ring finger, and then on the D string, second fret, you use your middle finger, then on the B string, first fret, you use your index finger, and these two are open. So it sounds like this. You can switch between a G and a C. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, chord transitions is probably the hardest to do. It takes a while, but just keep practicing. Alright, um, then a D. What it is, it's you mute the first two strings with your thumb or just don't hit them with the pick. Um, then the D is open, then on the G string you get your index finger and you put it on the second fret, and then your ring finger on the B string, put it on the third fret, then your middle finger on the um, high E string, put it on the second fret. It sounds like this. You can go between those. Or just Now we'll do strumming. Um, all right. Normally you hold a pick like this. That's for picking. You anchor your pinky. With strumming, you don't really need to hold it like that. You can if you want, but you want a lot more sticking out. You don't want just the bare minimum. You want a lot more. So I, I sometimes use two fingers and just hold it lightly. Just make sure it doesn't fall. And um, hit all the strings that you need to. This is down strumming. Then you can do different combinations like down, 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 down. Um, and then you can do like uh, down, 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 up, up. Just do whatever you think feels right or how you like it to sound down sounds different than up. I just think it's fun to mix it up. Alright, um, can't really think of anything else right now, so that can be your lesson for today. Just keep practicing the chord transitions. Make sure you stay in tune. Um, practice that scale. And you don't have to do it there, you can move it anywhere you want, just the same fingering. You can even do it starting on the E string. And whatever, you note, whatever note you start on is the major scale it's in. Like this is the G major, because I'm starting on a G. This is a A major because I'm starting on an A. C major. D major. Just little things like that. Um. Oh, uh, note values. We'll just go over that really quick. It goes A, then A sharp, then B then C, then C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Just goes like that. The B and the C are connected and the E and the F are connected. There is no B sharp and there is no E sharp. So, uh, such as this string, it would go E, F, F sharp, sharp, A, A sharp, D, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And the twelfth fret is always the octave. Okay, well, <laughs> that's your lesson for today. Alright, uh, I'll try to get uh, at least one a week, if not two a week. Sometimes I have a lot of homework, sometimes it's really cold outside. Um, and just keep... Uh, Keep checking. Thanks for watching the videos. See you on the next post.